falling, dreaming, talking in your sleep. I know you want to cry all night. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, my name is Ramil. Today we are doing another wig review with Eunice Amazon. They sent me over one of their newest Yaki straight wigs. So let's take a look at her. This is their glueless 7x5 HD pre-cut closure wig. It is Yaki straight and it also comes with some kinky edges. So that is going to help with making this this wig look more natural of course this wig is already pre-bleached pre-plucked um here's a better inside look of the wig like i said it is seven by five and it does come with a comb at the bottom it also comes with an adjustable band and you also get two straps along the sides here the density of this wig is 150 and I got it in the length 22 inches. So let's go ahead and try this on. Ooh, this is a very natural wig. Already love it. And I love how comfortable this wig is. It's very, very comfortable, very snug. I don't feel like it's going anywhere. My next step, what I'm gonna do to this wig is I'm just going to touch up the edges around here. I'm gonna go in with my tinted lace mousse so that way it just looks more natural against my skin tone. And then we will get to styling. So this is my tinted lace mousse by Eva New York. My favorite color, I feel like that blends with me the most, is the light warm brown. So you only need a little bit of this stuff. Make sure you shake it up. And once you shake it up, I just apply a little bit to my fingertips and I just rub that all the way across. So you only need around this much. I just like to go in with my rat tail comb and I just like to make sure that I am really blending all of this into my hair. Once you put on the band for it to melt into the skin, it just like sits so much better. So I feel like this step is so important because no, we're not necessarily using glue, but it's just a step that really helps with making the wig look super natural. The top of this wig is really, really flat, but I'm still gonna go in and just touch it up with my hot comb. I'm using um, the wax stick from ORS Olive Oil. Looks like I don't need that much, so just a little dab around the parting area is good enough. Soundstripe. This is so pretty. This looks so natural. Like what? So we still need a few minutes on this band to sit. So I was thinking instead of wearing it straight, I was gonna go in with my Shark Flex Style Blow Dryer um, and just add some curls to it because this looks so natural. It's so pretty. So I feel like if I add some curls, that'll be really cute. Let me give you all a 360 of what the wig looks like before I do anything to it. So it is full all the way down and it touches my waistline. So it's really, really long, really, really pretty, really, really soft. I just love how I can glide my hands through it and it's not shedding at all. It reminds me of relaxed type four hair. Like this is literally 
what my hair would look like if it was relaxed. I'm gonna go grab my blow dryer and then we're gonna start curling this hair. This is the Shark Style Flex. It's like the dupe of a Dyson Airwrap, so same concept. I'm just gonna go in really fast and I'm going to add some curls and hopefully this turns out cute. This is the first curl. It's so pretty. Sounds dry. Sounds dry. We are finally done with air wrapping our hair. So what I'm gonna do is just use my fingers to comb through these curls because they are very, very light and they probably aren't gonna last long, but it was just something to like give me some oomph. So let's see. This is what the curls look like. So just, you know, yeah, it's just a quick little one, two. So of course it didn't hold much curl, but look at the body that the blow dryer gave. I feel like that's what I was trying to achieve. I took off the band and now I'm just combing out the edges because they were matted onto the lace. So there's a few things that you can do now that you have the kinky edges. You can, you know, add a little bit of gel to them. I kind of like it as is. Sounds dry. Okay y'all, so this is what the final results look like. This is what the kinky edges look like. It's completely glueless. And it's just so natural looking. I love the body that my hair has. It just looks really full. It looks very natural. And I feel like it's growing out of my scalp. Like, this is my hair. Like I said in the video earlier, the blow dryer isn't necessarily to hold curls, it's just to give it body. So I really like how this looks, you guys. I will have everything about this hair linked in the description box as always. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.